It's a Samaritan Speed International um, organization that we're paired with doing this. And uh, basically they find people in the community that need help and are in need of new shoes and they invite them to come here and we can wash their feet, give them new shoes and uh, they actually have backpacks this year available for them. And it's just kind of a back to school thing so kids can go back to school with you know, a nice pair of shoes. We like it because it's local. Um, all the other schools in the conference do a Tom's event where they kind of do the same sort of thing but with Tom's. But we like Samaritan's Feet because uh, we were paired with them a while back, I think like five or six years. And it's local and it directly affects this community which, you know, support us so that's why we like it. It's always, the new people always hear washing feet and they, they're like, oh, I don't want to touch anyone's feet, you know, but then you'll see them come out here and they love it and it's a really humbling experience. Um, as far as giving people new shoes, you know, everyone's on board with that, but once you say wash their feet, they're kind of hesitant and so you have to really sell them on the idea of how it's a really humbling experience and it, it makes you realize, you know, especially as athletes, I think a lot of athletes have tennis shoe obsessions. I do. And so it's humbling to see people come in that, that don't really have shoes and they're here to get new shoes. And um, so that's kind of cool to see, especially as athletes, I think. Um, we're providing new shoes to about 300 local kids. Uh, the unique aspect being that every student athlete is washing the feet of each recipient. And it's really just a a unique opportunity to connect with a child um, in a very special way. It's like when I was telling the group when we were prepping earlier, um, you know, uh, these kids will not forget their feet being washed. And so, you know, what do we, we have an opportunity to fill a memory. Now, what are we going to fill that memory with? We're going to fill it with a smile. We're going to fill it with, you know, encouragement. And, you know, the student athletes have a platform and, you know, they're put on a pedestal a lot of times. So to have a, uh, a student athlete uh, wash the feet of somebody is powerful. It sends a powerful message. You don't wake up in the morning fired up to go wash somebody's feet, right? I mean, it's not like it's just not natural for us, but so there is a, a step of humility that is involved. And so, you know, that's, that's what really, I think, makes it powerful when you see executives or leaders or student athletes, you know, really humbling themselves in this unique way. A lot of the kids were pretty shy at first, but they calmed down a little bit, they got a little more open to you. But uh, it was touching, you know. It was a little different for me. I've never done anything like this before, but the kids, they, after they got over their shyness, they opened up a little more to you. So They're happy though, they're very excited. When I first heard about it, actually, it kind of gave me a, I kind of felt it in my stomach. It was a weird feeling, I don't know what it was, but it was pretty similar to what I thought it would be. Um, a little different though when you're in it, obviously, and interacting with the kids, you feel a little different. It was a good feeling though, to be able to help them out and do some things for them. And it's just a great way to, uh, to provide the children of Conway uh, shoes and socks. And for a lot of them, it's, it's the first time they've ever had a new pair of shoes. And uh, watching our student athletes interact with them is, is pretty rewarding. So I, the student athletes, uh, you know, we've got them coming in two ways. We've got six sports that we're here from two to four. And then we'll have uh, five more sports that'll be here from four to six. And, uh, and actually, I think they get a little more out of it than the, than the kids do. They seem to really be enjoying themselves. Well, at first, like getting getting their feet washed, they're like, whoa, like they aren't expecting it. And, you know, you try to play like little games with them, like, oh, does this tickle your feet or free massage? Like, but um, um, afterwards, when they when you're like taking off their socks and you're taking off their shoes, at first they're just like, what is going on? And Afterwards, when you when you wash their feet and you give them a new pair of shoes and the smile on their face and just that they're so thankful and at first they're just so shocked because they've never had this experience before. So first they're shocked and then they're grateful beyond words. But when you when you wash someone's feet, it just it lets them know that um, you respect them in a way and you're you are letting them know that you, you're, you're washing away the dirt, the old, and you're giving them like a new, new start in a sense. And so that's really cool, that opportunity that you just normally, you don't get to give. And being, being able to see that like effect on someone and the smile afterwards, it makes it all worth it. 